So last week our show was preempted because of the presidential inauguration, but we had a show ready to go, including a fun kitchen segment with Bourbon Street on the beach. Yeah, and today we're going to show you those segments. I caution you, though, <laughs> this was recorded before the Steelers-Patriots game, so you may spot a terrible towel and a couple enthusiastic Steelers fans. It is Friday night and it's just about dinner time. Need an idea? Well, how about a crawfish beignet? Mm -hmm. Chef Barry Reichardt from Bourbon Street on the Beach is here showing us how to prepare a tasty little treat. Tell us more about this thing, Barry. Well, this kind of came about, everybody asked for beignets because that's the New Orleans breakfast thing and everybody asked for them at dinner time. So mm -hmm. I, I said, well, what can we put in there? Well, what can you put in there? Crawfish, of course. All well, of course. Right. What else would you put that's in there? That's what you yeah. do. Yeah. So we spiced it up a little bit and added a little bit of, you know, flair to it to make it a little bit unique to what mm -hmm. we do there and uh, then we serve it. I serve mine with remoulade. You can do a Cajun tartar sauce. You can do a spicy Creole mustard, anything you want. But uh, you just need a little something to go with it and uh, you have dinner. Now, I, I see you have all the ingredients in front of uh, Jimmy. Is that because he's going to do all the work? He is. He is. And, and you know, w that's because yeah. we both figured we out. Bonded. We bonded. We bonded over yeah. our love of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Kind of so. noticed that. This isn't black and gold by accident. <laughs> so, yeah. <we're, laughs> yeah. We, so I, I pretty much became second class in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, all right, so what, what, what am I doing? Next year we'll wear the purple when they're in the playoffs. It's <laughs> yeah. okay. Okay, all right. There we go. Okay. So what am I doing here? Okay, we're going to mix the dry in first. Okay. This which is your, this is, these are the crawdaddies. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So just a little salt, okay. uh, a little baking powder, a little of my uh, Cajun seasoning that I make. Right. Then we add the egg and we stir it up. It's going for the egg. Going in. And, and do you, where do you get crawfish around here? Well, I mean, all your seafood purveyors seafood? have them. Uh -huh. and it's not if like you I can go, go down to, to the creek and get it. I think <laughs> if you go to like a Harris Teeter, one of the bigger supermarket chains, yeah. you can find them. Now, when I was little, we used to get crawdaddies from the creek. Yeah, right. from the creek. Not from the creek. Right. Well, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> I think they're the same thing. The, the yellow towel and all that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then that's wonderful. One. Then we just add the, the vegetables. The vegetables. Okay. So and this, I'm sorry, diced peppers. Diced peppers. Okay. And some scallions, green and onions. Some scallions. And give that a little turn. <gasps> Excuse me. Yeah. And get that all evened oh, out, oh, and then oh. add the milk. So we're saving the, the flour for last. The flour goes in last. I'm okay. going to help you. Here, here, I'll get out of your way and you can, you us you can help Jimmy. It might take two to stir the uh, <laughs> do you flour. Know, do Jimmy I needs, put all of this in at once? Yep. Jimmy needs all the help he can get. We all know that. <laughs> you know, I'm all about helping I noticed you didn't argue that point very much. I, well, you know, okay. and I noticed you didn't argue when I said I'm all about helping you out. Nope, because it's right. So we put the, go ahead and put the flour in? Yep, add the flour mixture, stir it up real good. Okay, we want to get about the consistency of pancake batter. Okay. So I'm going to just add a little bit of the thyme here. Yeah, there we go. And you have in here very hot yeah. oil, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. we're, we're actually going to deep yep, fry some this. Some vegetable oil. Be very careful at home if you're doing this. Yeah. And if something happens and catches fire, don't put water on it. Exactly. Yeah, from our firefighter here. All right, I'm going to switch places All with right, you I'll again. let you do this. I'm, I'm okay. going to keep going here. Basically, so, I always throw them on a little bit of flour just to give them a little more body, make it a little easier. We just want to scoop them right up. I'll hold the, I'll hold it for you so we don't slop them around and just, how, you know, do it I get doesn't all? matter. You can make them small. You can make them oh, okay. however you want. They're just going to fry okay. right up. And that'll be perfect. Just drop them in just Ooh. like, there you go. I think Bob's going to be looking for some of this when you get I home. I think you're second. right. I'm so excited. I'm going to New Orleans in a couple of months for the first time. So. And then you can show them how to do this right. I'm going to show them how to make these. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then and how long does that cook? Well, all you want to do is you want to brown it on both sides. So mm -hmm. we'll flip it here in a second when it browns up. How's it going over there, Jimmy? It looks a little thin to me still. What do you think, Chef? No, nope, that's perfect. Good. Because, yeah, if you keep stirring okay. it up a little bit and then it. I actually let it sit and I refrigerate it a little bit before I use it. That makes it ah, okay. through the magic of TV. We did all that already. Right. Oh, okay. So yeah, because I don't think we're going to. You just want to get them crispy. See how they're starting to brown there. I don't think yeah. we're going to yeah. want to taste these right away because that is some really hot oil there. But it's really good. All right. You ready to taste this, Jimmy? Good snack for the big game. I'm ready for it. This one's ready. This one's ready to go. Oh. Thank you. There you go. There's a fresh one. Gonna, right. Yeah, I'm going to pass warm. on she, that she's one. She's the one with the burning hot one. Yeah, I'm going to dip it in the Let's see how they get nice and golden brown. You, don't, you just want to let them get, in a, you know, mm -hmm. they get real happy in there when oh they're my goodness. golden brown and then mm. 
You can add a little hot sauce, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. something, oh, something. that is really, really good. Something that is crazy. really, really good. You need to try this at home. This is awesome. 